What's up guys, welcome to Mboards Uncut, the show where we show you how to buy, maintain, or even build your very own electric skateboard live and in real time so you can get as much information as possible. All right, so today we are discussing belt length and how to determine what size belt you need. So in this case, I've got an Mboards Interstellar. This is our six inch version of our Nova tires, 58T pulleys and 16 or, and 15T pulleys here. But how do you determine this belt length? Well, here, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So for example, if you get this board out of the box and you have your setup here, you may never need to really know what your belt length is for a long time. But let's say you want to change to a different setup. So this is a uh, Mad Wheel 105 with a 36T pulley. The stock system though, has a six inch wheel with a 58T pulley. So the 58T versus 36T, they're much different. Anytime we change size in pulleys, we also have to change uh, belt size. So I'm going to go through how we actually go about finding out what belt length we need. So here on the Mboards website, we've got this uh, awesome tool. So this is our homepage. And if you go to support and belt length, we're going to add more and more tools as we add them, um, as we actually figure out which ones we want to make. But for right now, belt length calculator. And it's pretty straightforward. So it's going to ask you three different questions. Motor pulley teeth quantity wheel pulley teeth quantity, and the center to center distance in millimeters. So there's also very detailed instructions, as detailed as they need to be, but uh, for now, we're just going to continue to go through the steps one at a time. So motor pulley teeth quantity, I know this board is the stock interstellar, uh, and this is a got 15 teeth. Now, if you don't know for sure, you can literally count them um, and, and enter that in. So the wheel pulley teeth, I also know that this is a stock six inch model, which has comes with a 58 T. And then the center to center distance is, this is what we're looking for. It's the distance between the motor pulley, like the center of it, the shaft, and the axle, the distance here in millimeters. And that's pretty much just giving us a usable length of our, of our motor mount, center to center. That's what we're looking for. And I happen to know off the top of my head, this for the interstellar is 69 millimeters. So I'm going to enter 69 millimeters right there. And we get a 337 millimeter belt, which doesn't really make sense, right? Because belts come in multiples of five. So if we continue to read our instructions here, reading our results, once you obtain your belt length result, round to the nearest multiple of five, for example, a 266.5 millimeter belt would really be rounded to 265. So this is looks like exactly in between a 335 and a 340. I happen to know that the Interstellar, by default, on this setup comes with a 335. We don't stock a 340, so in my opinion, I would just go for, down into a 335. But that's how we would get to 335. Now, what about the Mad Wheel set, setup? Let's do let's do this now. So 15T, same difference. But now we're going to go with 36T. And now we have a 269.6, which is pretty clearly a 270 millimeter belt. So exactly what we would do there. Okay, but what if you don't really know the center to center distance? How do and you don't have a pair of calipers? What's a good way of, of doing this? Well, there's a good way of working backwards, actually. So if you have your board and you have a setup that actually works now that you know of, we can use that numbers to work backwards. So let's pretend we did not know our center to center distance, right? So let's go back here to our software. We'll delete everything out and we're going to slowly add in everything that we do know. So I do know that this has a 15T pulley, so we're going to add that. We know that it has 58T motor or wheel pulley, so we're going to add that in. So now the center to center is the only thing we don't know, but we do know our belt length because literally we can just look on the belt itself until we find where it says. And this belt right here, it says, probably hard to see on camera, but it says right there, 335 millimeters. So now going back to our website here, we can just start plugging in kind of random numbers. We'll go 50 millimeters here until we get the belt size that we know. Whoops, there we go. Okay, so we'll go 50. So now it's 305. We know we're looking for this to be 335. So we're just gonna keep increasing this until we get to the number that we're expecting. So let's go 65. Now we know that this is 69, but we're pretending like we don't know. Okay, we're getting close. 66, 67, 
69. So even 68 would also work. So but 69. Okay, so we know that generally we got close enough here. 337 is close to our bell length. So now that we have that number, now we can go ahead and change the wheel pulley number to anything we want, and it'll be accurate. We sell 23T pulleys. It looks like you need a 235. We've sell 29T pulleys. That would be a 250. Um, and then even we can go up to 66 for our 7-inch pulleys, and that's a 365. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that helps you guys determine which pulleys you need. Um, if this video was at all helpful, I, I'd hope you guys would consider buying uh, your belts here from um, our site. But anyways, that's how you get your belt length, and uh, hopefully that helps. And we will see you in the next one. See ya.